How are you? Good. I'm very Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Really? Yes. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, yeah. I'm doing great. Nice. That's good to hear. And what is your name? My name is Mohammed, and I'm calling from New Delhi, India. That's so cool. Yes. I have a dream of coming to India one day. Oh, that's cool. When you oh, are oh. planning? Uh, not for the moment. I'm not planning, but I have a dream. So it's oh, okay. there. Okay. Yeah. And my name is Yep. And yeah, where, and where from, are you from? So I'm originally from South Africa. Okay. Um, but now I live in Portugal, so I'm calling mm -hmm. you from here. And how many languages do you speak? I speak uh, three languages. Yes, I speak English, um, Portuguese, mm -hmm. and Afrikaans. Okay. And yourself? Yeah, I speak three languages, but that's uh, like a, one native language, one Hindi language, and the third one is English. It's three English. Yeah, I can hear that your English is really good. You've been speaking English for a while, yeah? <laughs> I'm a public speaker and uh, I work for the US customers over the last 10 years and English is all about my passion. Wow. And I love I when see. I talk with the people I speak, you know, I especially care about my pronunciation and accent and diction and uh, I've been working for it for a long period of time. Wow, that's so interesting. It's so unique your passion and work you work and it's your passion yes so what does that look like on a daily basis for you being a public speaker uh, being a public speaker I'm, I'm not talking about you know going on the you know big crowd and uh, giving lectures oh. to the people oh, okay, it, okay. it's just a uh, community centers where the people get together and uh, they all ask questions and debate sessions and discussions and on the topics you know, and I'm, uh, you know, I can say I'm not admiring myself, but yes, I'm the best of the speaker uh, when it comes for debates or group discussions or speaking over any topics, you know, using the appropriate words and convincing the audiences and asking, uh, you know, solving their questions, answering to their questions, you know. So wow. I speak uh, per day, maybe 30 minutes, one hour, sometimes one and a half an hour. And it's quite challenging when, you know, you switch your mind from your native language to the English language, you know. Yes, of it's, course. It's quite difficult, especially for Indian people, especially we, you know, us, because our mind, especially surrounded with the, you know, the native language, you know, people, not the English. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, being a good speaker in India and, you know, giving... Uh, you know, your ideas and thoughts about any topic, it's quite challenging. You have to prepare for, you know, yourself for those kind of, you know, you know, environment. So you can, you know, convince somebody else uh, with your thoughts and you can yeah. solve their questions, you know, in a very nice manner. So they would be understand, they would understand, yes, you're right. Okay. So this is a small, uh, you know, a kind of a debate session or a stage performance. I'm oh, wow. preparing myself for the big, you know, like a Toastmaster, like you go on TED Talks and some of the, you yeah. know, stage performances. But this is my beginning. Since I'm a businessman and business owner, so I keep myself busy. But since this is my passion, so I have to keep also along with my business as well. Okay. And I have a question for you that I thought about. Um, so I used to be a ballet dancer. And when oh. I went on stage, mm -hmm. I would calm myself before and have a few thoughts before I go on stage. And I, I think it's such an important part before entering the performance is your aura and your alignment before the, the performance. So what, is, what, is, what does that look like for you in your mind? Can you explain your mind to me in that moment? Yeah, before going for the public speaking. And uh, yeah. yeah, somebody calls you, you go on the stage and uh, the stage could be anything. Even the two people who listen to you, they are your audience, you know. Yes, it doesn't mean like you have uh, hundreds and thousands of the people waiting for you to speak. No. Mm -hmm. So when you go on the stage and uh, for me personally, I don't feel any hesitation. I feel myself confident. And uh, second, you know, I don't prepare myself to go on this stage because I have already trained my mind 
to face those you know stage performances mm -hmm. that i have to do it anyhow second once you have a confidence in yourself confidence comes with the help of preparation when you prepare yourself when you dedicate yourself when you sacrifice of your time when you you know you are keen to learn and your progress uh, and facing the challenges on, on your way on the path of your success so you will realize that you are feeling confident a mm. time comes yeah a time comes when you don't need to depend on others to motivate you you know yeah, you yeah. you are the self self made self motivator right so personally when i go on the stage i don't feel any kind of problems earlier mm. when i was you know beginner when i was learning when i was on the stage of learning uh, that time my hands were shivering my whole body was shivering oh. yes but since gradually i i took it seriously and i kept on working on it you know it, it becomes one of my habit and it is true the people say that once you follow your passion success you know comes to you this is a reality and since That's beginning true. yeah since beginning it was my passion and i have been working it's not one night job you know once you learn and you'll be a confident person you have to keep on progressing and working yeah. right you have to maintain the consistencies in your jobs or whatever you do right <laughs> so when i go on the stage i don't have any issues don't feel any hesitations right wow. yeah all the time you know people ask questions always the thoughts comes in my mind i answer them you know mm -hmm. yes okay and i have another question mohammed so generally even with teaching okay i plan a lesson um it could be in classroom or online and it never ever goes how i plan it usually something beautiful pops up or i speak about something that i never thought to speak about before does that happen to you on stage where you suddenly find yourself like oh this is not my speech but now it is okay uh just look at the message when we plan and god love because <laughs> our plan doesn't work according to our plans you know first thing we have so many ideas you know to do to do this to do that but it doesn't okay. work according to our thoughts mm -hmm. according to our you know conscience so mm -hmm. you know what i have learned from my past experiences that when you are good to solve the problems problems could be anything uh, either it's your life problems your business problems your you know jobs problems your family issues your friends issues when you you know when you start to solving the problems you know you don't have to plan for the future because your future would be you know bright on the basis of your present thoughts and present solving That's the problems yes. very true so okay. i never plan for the future because it never worked for me and it never works for me mm. and i just plan for today what are my today's you know the actions which i have to take and execute right yeah. when i start to solve and keep myself busy for finding the solutions or finding yeah. any kind of uh, you know solutions to the problems right yeah i i get confidence within myself and uh you know taking one step further leads to my success that's what i have learned oh this is very true it's yes. like all the small things are not uh not mean because they're leading you somewhere maybe yes. it's in the wrong direction but the wrong direction is leading you to the right direction even that's right i have also learned I, I you know to... from yes oh sorry uh with regards to english like you said you cannot plan your future but it's nice to have a toolbox of like new vocabulary or like great conversation topics um to have on hand just in case you can take them from your brain and use them maybe yeah i have you know i have a large number of vocabulary when i was you know beginner when i started 10 years ago and uh, yeah. and since since you know i knew nothing i had no any skills of speaking english 10 years ago when i you know finished my college and yeah. uh, my education background was a native language it was not all about you know english because all the bookish we used to have it was all in our native language not the english yeah. so basically i was far away from my english communication or the book yeah. which i used to study okay when i realized i should do something in my life and english is the most important part of our life to get success i started yeah. learning when i was on the stage i used to read newspapers every day english newspapers and 
that's how i built my vocabulary and uh, even i have uh, my copy with me right now and i sometimes i turn the pages it was written 10 years ago and the copy is 13 years old so right. i just get the vocabulary from there because all i have made a list of voc a large number of vocabulary i had i used yeah. to have 10 years ago i was the best of this speaker when i i was you know learning because i made myself in a such a way that yes english it was a kind of biggest you know lack for me i was it was a weakest point for me it was a weak uh, point for it me. is your weakness yeah weakness okay. yes and now it is my strongest strength you okay. can say yeah because that's, my, really inspiring. that's my whole business depends on my communication skills and uh, i have to work for this you know so people i want to share something with you here while you you tell me yes carry on please okay so i have a large number of vocabulary when I, wherever i just talk and i speak over something i you know get lots of words and vocabulary uh -huh. nice 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 yeah I'd be, um I'd be i was speaking yes. yes do you recognize any of these um it could be interesting to add to your your book of vocabulary and ideas yeah i have so many phrasal verbs and phrasal words i use sometimes but you know in order to be a good speaker, you have to use the understandable languages and vocabulary because you have to also understand really? when you are, yeah, when you're talking to someone, you don't have to use the very high level of vocabulary. This is not the a sign of a good speaker. So when okay. the audience are sitting and you're picking a very different phrasal words and uh, which is not understandable mm. by them. So your 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 you know speech is not reaching to their brains. You know mm -hmm. you have to convince them anyhow with your thoughts and ideas with using any simple words. So you have to use the simple words. These yeah. phrasal words, yes, you can use in the writing, but for speaking, you have to use a very small and a very convincing and very understandable vocabulary so people could understand you. Okay, and what would you say is the most or your favorite topic that you have spoken about within? the 10 years of you speaking English. It God. can be on stage, off stage, God. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so you're, you're sharing your passion at a stage. You, sh you shared your passion on stage about God. No, sometimes people ask the questions. And I love to define, you know, about the topic of the existence of the God, the universe mm -hmm. and the suns and the moons and the stars and everything which is in the universe. You, you know, was uh, created by somebody who is controlling us, you know. Even once we start reading and once we get the knowledge from bookish knowledge, we feel ourselves like we are supreme. But in the whole universe, our knowledge is not in decimal, you know. We are not able to contribute our knowledge to society to make it, make it a peaceful place. We are, control, we are controlled by somebody else. Even we cannot control our happiness. We cannot control our sorrow. We cannot control mm -hmm. our smiles, you know. We cannot control our body. We cannot control our souls. It is given by somebody else. And whenever he wish, he can take it away, right? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so, this is great. <laughs> yes. So I have a lots of thoughts about the existence of the God and about the the life and of life after that, what happens, everything I, you know, I started learning. So this is my thought, but thoughts can be changed according to the different people's perceptions, yeah. you know, yes. I want to ask you, did you ever have an impromptu speech, um, but a very lengthy speech where somebody gave you a topic and you had to speak? Yeah, I have experienced so many times for this and uh, I have spoken very well because uh, once you have a knowledge and command over your English, you can speak over anything. So we are running out of time, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Even I did not get the chance to ask you questions. Uh, oh, no, it's okay. I enjoy to get to know you. We will see you once again, okay? I will call you back once again. Thank you so much. Have a nice Bye. day.